What's up guys? Happy New Year. Uh, this is gonna be a spectacular 2018. Before we start the vlog, I just wanted to kind of, just wanted to give you a little, little kick in the ass, you know, and 2018 is gonna be what you make it. And it comes down to your perception of what the year's gonna be. If you think the year's gonna be hard, it's gonna be hard. If you think the year's gonna be easy, it's gonna be easy. You think the camera's gonna fall over? It probably will. Point is, that the year is gonna be what you make it to be, what you decide it's gonna be. And you have to make a conscious decision, decide that it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be epic, and it's gonna be freaking awesome. You have to decide, you have to make a decision right now because what you decide right now is what it's gonna be. So join with me uh, on these vlogs uh, throughout the year and make the decision. Fuck. Make the decision that this is gonna be the best year you have ever had, bar none. In fact, it's gonna make the rest of the years, no matter how many years there's been, vanilla years. We're not, we're not dealing with vanilla anymore. We're dealing with chocolate. We're dealing with big fat chunks of chocolate in the chocolate. Okay, you get my point. Let's get into today's vlog and I'll come back and I'll talk to you. You look very cute in that new beret. Thank you. It is Sunday morning, about seven-ish in the morning. Uh, we are in the new Toyota, the Prius C. Thank you to Toyota for sending us this. And we're headed to Santa Barbara. We're going to two things. One, going, going to the Santa Barbara Cars and Coffee. And we're gonna hang out with my sister, uh, Jordana, which you guys have seen here on the vlog, and have some coffee. Kathy's already got a jump start. She's still a little sleepy. We'll see you guys in a bit. for my feet from, from Hawaii, Hawaii. Hawaii. Uh -huh. and then I got the scrub daddy <laughs> so that I can clean my stuff even better. So you can clean your body with the blue No, no. Yeah, dishes right. with that and wear your cool shoes. That's mm -hmm. right. And that way I don't get caught from my scaly feet if I have them. <laughs> All right, Kathy, it's your turn. All right. <laughs> Giordana's got us something cool. Mmm. Mm. Oh my God, black rice quinoa crunch. That sounds incredible. Doesn't it? Mm. Yummy. And this one is, oh, chili dark chocolate. Wow. They both um, sound. That one's mine, thank you. The girls are gonna be having coffee for a little bit. I'm gonna go over and check out this car show. This is Santa Barbara Cars and Coffee. Kind of a light turnout today because it's New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve kind of, and it's still a little bit early, but it looks like there's a few good rides. Let's go check them out. something I've seen in a motor before, a uh, big fat rat right in the middle.
Tom, and we're at Santa Barbara Cars and Coffee, which was at, in Montecito. It's now in Santa Barbara, Correct. Uh, at La Cumbre Plaza. Correct. Uh, and there's lots of lots of nice cars, but you have something truly unique that I Thank personally you. haven't seen in a long time, let alone in this condition. Thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit about this truck. It's uh, it's a '59 Studebaker. It's a long bed pickup. It's got a V8 motor. It's a three-speed with an automatic. It's been fully restored, five-year restoration. Found on a farm in Santa Paula. Uh, George the- As they always are. <laughs> yeah. George the gentleman bought it for his wife. She hated the car, literally hated the car truck. Wow. Since day one. When I was called upon coming to take a look at it, it was spread out all over the farm, 27 acres of avocados, <laughs> two different barns, and all the lady wife could say to me was, get the damn thing out of here. So we spent weeks and nights with flashlights searching for parts and spent five years putting it together. Wow, what an adventure. Very much so. Yeah, Very yeah. And, so. and you've become a kind of a caretaker for the, uh, for the classic. Correct. Right now? Yeah. Correct. And so now, now is pretty much everything done on it? It's basically all done. I just yeah. did a little more work last weekend. We yeah. balanced the drive shaft. Mm -hmm. We put in new bearings yeah. in the front. And basically, I'm sure I'll find something. That's yeah. how I am. I'm very picky. Yeah, you got to go back to the farm. You might have missed something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe well, a few avocados. Well, what's real interesting is I have two pieces that are very unique to the truck yeah. and Studebaker. And that Studebaker International, who has uh, an 85 page catalog of nothing but Studebaker parts. Oh, that's cool. They don't even have the two that we found. <laughs> <laughs> so that's even a plus, awesome. bigger plus. Good job, man. Thank you very, very much. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Appreciate it. Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> Walking through the show, this is David, and I'm, I'm always on the hunt, trying to look for unique cars, yeah. especially on this show. But um, not only do you have something unique, which is 36 Chevy, and you don't see a lot of these, maybe in a museum or something like that. Fully restored, not with the California paint job, which this has. <laughs> yeah. But the graphics on the side look original to me. Am I wrong? Yes, it's pretty original. We found this car back uh, 25 years ago, so it's been in my family for 25 years. Wow. Uh, it was originally from Oklahoma, so my brother brought it here to Oklahoma. So it was a Marshall's car in Oklahoma yes. in 36. Yes. God, imagine what this car has seen over the years. And I got uh, uh, magazines where it's been originally from from back then, so it's, wow. it's really impressive. Obviously, it has a little bit of weather now, so yeah, yeah. But, uh, I don't intend to do anything to it. Just keep it as is. How, how's the motor and everything else? All mechanical? Stuff? Everything is original. The only thing that we've done, we've converted it from a six volt to a twelve volt. Okay. And basically, other than that, everything's original. It's, it's rocking some tunes too, though. Yeah. <laughs> you got that hidden in there somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's hidden. Yeah. You know, I wanted to keep that vintage look. Oh yeah. Well, tell me what you know. Having the car for twenty five years in your family. You know, your dad had it first. Uh, no, first it was my brother. Okay, your brother so had it. first. He's had it for the last. He had it for fifteen years. And then it sat for a while, and then my uncle took over it okay. for the last 10 years. And then finally I heard through someone that it was going to LA and I didn't want to let it go. Yeah. So I had to stay in the family. Yeah. Well, in, in 30 seconds, give me your best story with this car. What's something that stands out? You know, the, uh, did it break down somewhere? Or was there some kind of challenge? What's the one thing that stands out? Uh, the most experience that I've had is when I'm driving downtown and people had to stop me and just take pictures. Yeah. And that's what gets me you know, wanting more and it keeps me happy. So oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a stress reliever, I call it. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> Take well, what, what, what can you recommend to someone who, you know, has a, an idea of the kind of car they want to get something like this 
you know, how, how can you motivate them or inspire them to, uh, you know, to follow through with that dream? Um, just look at the car and pick what you want, and then don't be scared of the way it looks, because, you know, it's just time, time, a little bit of love. Yeah. You, you know, a lot of love. Yeah, a lot of love. <laughs> you know? Good job, man. Looks Thanks. really good. And there's lots of classic cars normally at this show. Mm -hmm. There's lots of muscle cars, things like that, but you didn't bring any one of those. I didn't. You know, um, you brought a new Tesla Model 3. Yes, I did. And what possessed you? Why did you decide to get a car like this? I'm an electric car enthusiast. I love electric cars. Um, I think what, what Tesla's doing, trying to change the world, is a really admirable, admirable goal. I, I don't think they're trying, man. I, I think they're succeeding. Yeah, yeah, I, they're succeeding. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. And uh, also, I mean, besides that, I, I love a well, a good driving car, and this yeah. car drives like a bat out of hell. Wow. And it's a fantastic vehicle. That's really awesome. Uh, so you'll be getting the semi truck next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to do a change of jobs to get that one done. Yeah, but well, at $250,000 in spare change. That's true. But if you <laughs> maybe you start collecting Teslas, and then you're going to need something to put them all in, like, oh, that's right. Case, right. That's right. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You know, it's uh, it's neat to see all the classics, everything else, but it's a treat to see something like this. You got to respect the, the classic cars you do, for sure. For sure. And so I just, you know, but it's fun to bring something new to the show. And yeah. Why not? Awesome. Have well, congratulations. Thanks. This is the Tesla Model 3 interior, and there is nothing going on in here. Nothing at all, just a screen. It's super cool, uh, kind of hard to believe. Uh, this is Will, and you have probably the best of show. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting bug. What year is it? Uh, 69. 69, and you said that the it was originally blue. Yeah, it was a beautiful blue. But now it's been painted kind of a uh, 70s uh, brown. Sort of, I call it dog do brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's the story with this bug? Why, and how did you end up with it? Um, I sold my 65 convertible bug to buy a 914 from a local uh, mechanic here. Yeah, yeah. And then um, couldn't be without a bug. So, and I needed to cart, cart the dogs around. So I figured, you know, seat down, platform in the back, yeah. it'd be a great vehicle, and sure. I missed my bug. Yeah. So I went looking for a running and driving bug. It had to run and drive well. Yeah. Um, and look like crap. I didn't care what it looked like. <laughs> and this is what I found for a yeah. thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. See, it so, proves you can buy a car for yeah. a thousand bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, it's a cool car. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you, you can get a car for a thousand bucks and actually take it to a car show and people appreciate it. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, boy, that's that's a little scary, man. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good show. Lots of great stories. Lots of pretty amazing cars. Thanks, guys, for uh, giving me your time to be able to check out some of the uh, the rides that you have. Let's go see what the ladies are up to. So good. 
to go to car shows and hang out with people. It's just really nice to meet people. In fact, I know a lot of you actually watch the vlog and I actually haven't met you face to face. There'll be a time for that. But those of you that I get to run into when we do go to a show, and we do get a chance to interact face to face. Some of you post questions, some of you post comments on the vlog. I like to put a face to that. You know, comment, face face comment. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the Toyota 2018 Toyota Prius C. Now, Toyota's making some uh, big strides to, to shift their entire entire cadre of vehicles into the hybrid and electric mode. And they're going to be doing that over a period of time, probably around 2030. But today, today we have the Prius C. It's a four-door. It's a hatchback. It runs about 20,000 all the way up to 26, so not that big of a spread. The one I currently have is the Prius C4, and that runs about 26,000. I think it's the seat heaters. But the most interesting thing about this car is that you can drive it for quite a ways before the gas gauge even shows any sign of anything. It gets a whopping 48 miles per gallon, but honestly, it felt like a lot more. I've had this car for you know a few days now and uh, waiting to see that gauge go down and it's, it's not budget. I don't know what the deal is, but I really like the exterior. It's, it feels um, uh, modern, it feels futuristic, but it's slick. I like it. I got it for a couple more days and there's a good chance. There's a very good chance. I will not be using the gas in this. There's gonna be a lot left over. Okay, quick note before I go, a couple of you asked about how the book is coming. The new book for the Channel Islands Maritime Museum. I think I showed you one sketch, maybe two sketch. <laughs> I got 14 going on right here. I'm meeting in about a week to be able to look at through all those sketches and kind of hone in, kind of figure out exactly what we're doing. It's going to be freaking awesome. But I got a new big book coming also, so February is going to be a big month. Got a lot of cool stuff coming, so I got to get to it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. And then we'll, um, well, we'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow.